Hey, I'm Jim, Telegram and Instagram, and this is a quick tip. Something I'm super prone to doing is leaving my ATO off. Uh, if I bring corals home or whatever and they're in containers and I float them in the tank, the level raises and my ATO alarm's high. So what I do is I turn it off and then sometimes I forget to turn the thing back on. So uh, something that might help you, something that I've noticed in my tank, is that I have my ATO sensor in my sump and it can be in your tank, in your sump, in your overflow, in your whatever, but I have that thing set at a specific level. I've taken my, I've taken my temperature probe that's connected to my controller uh, or some external alarm thing that you figure out and I set that thermometer just a little bit lower than the point at which the ATO would alarm. So what happens, especially in the winter when I have a whole lot of evaporation, is as the water level lowers, and because I've forgotten to turn the ATO back on, it continues to lower. Eventually, that, that temperature probe, it's a secondary probe not connected to a heater, it alarms on low temperature because it's out of the water and exposed to the cold air in the basement. So maybe that's something you could try. I found it to be super helpful because like I said, I'm prone to forgetting to turn the ATO back on. So ATO is off, temperature sensor is a little lower than the point at which the ATO would alarm. Temperature sensor is exposed to basement air, outside air, whatever air, which is absolutely cooler, hopefully, than your tank, especially in the winter. And you get a secondary alarm. Hope that helps. I'm Jim, Telegram on Instagram. Happy reefing and be kind everyone. Thanks for watching.